know sometimes I have to find oh. Hooked him in the side or something, you see it? There you go, he's straightened himself out. He's as big around as he is. <laughs> Little guy. It's a starter though, folks. Welcome to the show. Back here on your Lake Fort Guide. I got the man, the myth. The legend in some circles, Mr. Heath Taylor. Smash Tech Custom Baits. Cute little fella to start the day. And there's no guarantees in fishing. No. But I can just about promise you that won't be the last one you see today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully not. We've got a good warming trend going on. We're out here lost in the woods in East Texas, somewhere deep. I don't even know where we are. Heath just kept driving and driving. We're and past the Sasquatch. And a Black Panther. Black Panther. But we got a special treat for you guys today. Y'all seen Heath Taylor on here before. He's been in some of the best content we've ever created. We caught over 100 pounds in one day with this guy the last time he was on the channel. And today, we're doing the giveaway challenge, Heath. Mr. Heath has generously agreed to do a giveaway of some of his awesome baits that we will be using. Everything we use today will be Smash Tech bait, by the way. Uh, we got the new Blade Aid trailer on the Chatterbait. I just caught that first fish on. It's a hand-poured Chatterbait. So we'll get into all the details later. Let's talk about what we're going to give away, Heath. So this is going to be a big fish challenge. And if you don't catch one big enough, you got to give away more. So let's set the marker weight. What do you want the marker to be? Six pounds? Uh, let's do... Yeah, if we catch a six pounder. Okay, so if we catch one six pounds or bigger, <laughs> he almost did because he's. The line jump? Yeah, I did. He's throwing a big swim bait right now, folks. So if we catch one six pounds or bigger, Heath is going to give away a pack of some brand new swim baits called the Wag Shad that he's throwing right now. He's going to give away a pack on YouTube, a pack on Facebook, and a pack on Instagram. And all you have to do is on each of those platforms, just comment smash tech custom bait so if you're watching on youtube comment that down below if you're watching on facebook comment that down below you'll be entered for a drawing to win a pack of the brand new wag shad swim bait which we, sh we will show you later today in the show it's busy right now yeah we're a little occupied <laughs> if we don't catch one bigger than six pounds though he's going to have to give away more he's going to give you three packs you're going to get a pack of smash sticks the five inch stick bait that you make that's so awesome um Smash Bug, which is a little creature bait, a really good flipping bait that you make. And the new Blade Aid that I just caught that fish on, the Chatterbait trailer. Right? Correct. Right. Three packs, three times on three different platforms. Or if we catch one big enough, some brand new swim baits. Either way, you guys win, and we win because we're going to catch them. hope so. I hadn't fished in two months. so. Yeah, well, I hope you catch some. So. I hope I don't catch all of them. I'd feel really bad. Oh, Never man. mind, that might be the challenge over right there. there Folks. Right there. Folks, what do we got here? Oh, he ain't going to be there, but he's going to be close. You got him, bud? You need help or you got him? No, we can swing him. That's not quite a six pounder. But he's got something hanging out of his face. So, I said we were going to get into it later. We might as well just go ahead and start the show the right way, right? Brand new wag shad right there. Rigged up on a 10-aught hook. Seven inch swim bait, Heath? Uh, seven inch. Seven inch swim bait. It's kind of all crooked from getting cattywampus by that stud right there. Give her a little ear scratch. Man, that's a great fish, Heath. Good job, bud. I'd say that's a pretty good start to the show. Not bad. It's a little bit longer intro than usual. Hope y'all didn't mind, folks, because we're having a good time. Good job, buddy. Get him, Johnny. Digging? No, just solid. Oh, solid fish. Folks, when you want to go bass fishing, be sure and get some Smash Tech Custom Baits. And don't just catch them. But what are we going to do, hey? Smash them. We're going to smash them, folks. That is a fat little pre-spawn fish. Yeah. Thanks, Did you pick up the old chatterbait with the blade aid? Blade aid. Two for the blade aid. Getting after it. That's a chunk. Let me, get, let me give them a little better look Ooh. at that. Check this old pre-spawn little young female right here, boys and girls. Look at how dark she is. Beautiful fish. 
got some grass out here in this lake we're fishing today some old pad stems that is a belly full of future bass right there folks very cool as you can see he's all business i can't even get done talking about the fish he's trying to catch your catch your buddy out there <laughs> good job brother check out the wag shag seven inch what would you describe that as that thing's got so much action a lot of body roll it uh you know for people that are used to throwing the convict which has a lot of faster tail kick um, a little tighter quicker kick yeah, this one's yeah. got more of a wag shag's got more head movement and a more deliberate yeah. tail kick yeah it's got a wider tail kick and that's the big thing i noticed was how much the entire body of the bait really yeah, the whole, the whole gets the bait, moving the whole bait kind of rocks back and forth but yet it's not as fast as say the big hollow body yeah it's, it's a completely different look than the hollow body it's a slower version of kind of a similar deal where the whole body shakes but it's slower yeah. It's a, it's a neat bait, man. I'm really looking forward to fishing it. I think we're going to catch some big ones on fork on it this year, and uh, you already caught a big one on it first thing today. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch more on it today. We sure will. We sure will. His name is Heath Taylor, folks. He makes great baits. He catches lots of fish. Listen, we're down there. That's pretty good editing. Got him. I'll let, you, I'll let you wrangle that bass. Get on in here, Sugar Bridges. Nice little chunk right there. Alligator weed. Got it pad stem. We ain't broke six pounds, but we're catching some pretty solid fish, buddy. You got one too? Well, I just got short lined by uh, another little one. There you go. Good solid chunk right there. Man, we're kind of three to the good. We got three good fish in the boat, buddy. We need to uh, get a couple more heads and have us a good bag for the day. Need a big one. Need a big one. Need a big one so you can give people a new bait instead of a bunch of old baits. Well, we got one new bait. And, uh, That's true. That's true. Either way, we're going to give somebody something. Yeah. And we were talking about the poachers. Of course, it could be Ronnie, too, dude. Ronnie's. There he is. Get him. Get him, Heath. Little guy. Chunk. Little chunk. Fat and healthy. They got stuff on their mind. Eating and having babies. Yeah, they'll quit thinking about them babies real quick when it gets like 27 degrees tomorrow night. Ain't a broken heart. Got it? Yep. The hog doctor? I can't tell, dude. It's a light setup. There's, they all feel big on this thing. Shaking his old noggin? Yeah, I think he's got me wrapped around a pad stand. Yeah, he does got me wrapped around past him real bad. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, comes loose. Nope, didn't come loose. He just walked up and got hung again. There he goes, he's loose. It's a good one. Not a great one, but a good one. He ain't a bad one. For sure. The old smashing stick, one of the giveaway baits, huh? Make one more loop around so I can boat flip you on this 12 pound line. Cause that's what we do, we boat flip on 12 pound line, folks. Oh, the old smashing stick, ladies and German men. That is a good one, Heath. That's a good one. Get out of that junk. Got you no pads to me? Yeah. I'm trying to let him swim out of there. This may not be in a chasing move. He's stuck like Chuck. Dude, I keep feeling him pull down a little bit, and then I'll pull him up, and he gets stuck. There he goes. Little bitty fella. Fat, dude. These fish are so fat. Golly, man. They are fat, fat, fat. Look at him peeing. He has to go tingle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's always fun to make a fish pee on you, buddy. I'm going to tell you that. That never gets old, folks. Get him! Wagon Chad? Yep. He hit it. Boy. He came back to it. He come back to get her. Oh, so old good Oh, good and Drop them poles right here in this gut. Here. Take that little guy off. Okay, I got him. You I'm deal with. I'm gonna take the hook out of my You unhook yourself. I'll unhook the fish. There we go. Go catch another one. 
thank you. Just a solid little chunk, folks at home. Getting right there. That's he had, a. He had big aspirations. <laughs> they mean business today, folks. Oh, pre-spawn swim bait in Heath Taylor. What about that? What did you get caught in your foot? The old hard bait? Yeah, the old jointed gizzard down there. <laughs> He's down there for emergency purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another bite right there. You know Eat why him. they're back in here? Because it's the warmest water on the pond, Jack. Exactly, because there's this little cut and it's 61 degrees in this little cut. That's right. A little bit warmer back here. Yeah, you Good. Oh, come on, none. Golly. That loaded up better. That, yeah, you heard, I heard you lying, bud. God dang, dude. That stinks. I gotta go get my swim bait and throw it back there. Got him. Ooh. A little scrape of them down here. Yeah. Look how he ate this. Look how he ate the poacher, bud. Look how fat he is. And look how he ate that poacher. Show that to the folks at home. Golly, go. that's the new weedless poacher, folks. I've been talking about it a lot. We're getting to that pre spawn time. Look at that little chunk, dude. It's so fat. Good grief. That joker's been following me to Whataburger every day after I leave the pond, I think. <laughs> that old six inch rod did the damage that time, dude. Let me see. Let me see that chunk. Golly. It's as tall as it is long, yeah, folks at home. Football. Hold that bait up for that camera right there. That's light hitch color. That's the, the new weedless poacher. Available at smashtechbase.com. That is a great guys i'm telling you i've been talking oh wow big splash for a fat fish yeah. i've been telling you guys this bait right here is going to be the deal this spring and like right now is the very first edge this is not a hot water lake this is a cold yeah, exactly. regular cold water lake we got a little bit of warm water in this corner uh just when we say warm we need just a few degrees warmer yeah it's 61 we're out there on the main lake 57 like yeah but you get back in here in a protected pocket so 61 to 57 but there's a little group of them in here but the deal is when you get to that that, that kind of that water temperature you get up in the upper 50s lower 60s they'll course, start and of course we're going to have a cold front yeah and that'll uh, knock them back but then we'll have back. it'll warm back up and when it does that's when this swim bait bike gets going guys and this is the deal i think for the pre-spawn swim bait this little weedless poacher is a bad, bad dude for that bite. I gotta get me a hit in the hoop. Hard bait? Yep. Bigging? No, he's bigging. Thought he was. Boy, there's some good young fat fish in this lake, you know it? Golly, man, they're so healthy. Little bitty. Are these smallmouth largemouths? They're very angry, I guess. <laughs> well, I said it's been. They got little bitty heads. It's been, yeah, they are all body. But uh, they're wanting a swim bait, so. They are. They are eating a swim bait. <laughs> I'm to throw the old hard bait in there at them. What'd you get that on? Dude, that was in the dirt, bro. Up in the Thule's. <laughs> the Thule's. Look, just because it's a swim bait doesn't mean we're in California and have Thule's. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure that thing was like behind everything. One of those, his eyes are way bigger than his mouth. Smack the snot out of it. That's cool, man. Good job, buddy. In the Thule's. The t <laughs> Mike McFarland, they're in the Thule's. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there he is. Got him. <laughs> little guy. I'm really impressed that I didn't step off the bow of this boat. <laughs> oh, were you up on the front corner up there? Right up on the old champion cheater deck. Another little one, folks. That's that old dangerous one right there. He got in the bottom lip. He's trying to hook me. Folks, look at these fish. That's a little fish. But look how tiny his little head is, and look how big his little belly is. I mean, these jokers are as healthy as they can be in here, bud. Spank on through, bud. Good little guy. Go ahead and drop them again. There's still a bunch more. 
What the heck was that? He just spit out a shad, and then uh, another bass ate it when it hit the water. Is what happened. So this fish right here, folks, as he as I was fighting him, he spit out a shad, and another bass that was following him ate it on the surface. If you don't think they feed in the pre-spot on these warming trends. I mean, this is like schooling, getting after it type of stuff. Yeah. Crazy. And I know most of these fish are little, but God dang, dude, it's February. We're just, I mean, it's every cast. Yeah. We're whacking them, dude. This is so much fun. The rottles. <laughs> dude, I'm glad he's as small as he is, because I'd have never got him over that stuff with 12 pound line. Well, here's the male. Now that's the female. God dang, that's the smallest one yet. So folks at home, you're not gonna actually believe what we just did here. We're not 100% sure, but I'm probably 90 now, This is just a little guy. But, or maybe a little girl fetish, he's probably a little guy. But, the water is 60, low 60s. We had a new moon a couple days ago. 62 right here maybe 63 over there where i caught this fish but right lower 60s we had a moon a couple days ago that is actually on february 6th i'm gonna go ahead and call it that's my first bed fish of the year right there we watched this fish swirl in the same spot time and time again every time we brought a bait near it and i finally threw that old stick bait over there old smash stick and he ate it so there you go first bed fish of the year february 6th that's a pretty early start folks at home <laughs> there's a little mat of grass over here and just on the other side of it, there's a, there's a, some bed, there's a bedding fish. There's a bed. The one I just caught, and there's another one over there that keeps swirling every time Heath brings a swim bait by it. It's in the same spot every time. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that's a bed. Like, 99.999%. Got her. Yep. Got her on that Cinco. <laughs> Huh. I know you hate that. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> you know me. There's the female, just a little bit bigger, a little bit fatter. Ow, 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 ow. Quit, baby. There you go. Little bed fish. Little guy. Chatter, Chatter. You gonna do something, everybody? There he goes. He woke up, folks. Oh boy, he woke up a little too much. <laughs> he got a little feisty all of a sudden. Fat little sucker. It's just so much fun, isn't it? So much fun, folks at home. Man, some of these things are so fat they look deformed. Look how he ate that chatterbait, Heath. Mmm, choking on it. The old chatterbait with the blade aid, my brother. All right, say goodbye, Butterball. Ooh, real, real, real. You didn't get him good. Oh, he's just looking. Drag. Dude, I, did you mess with my drag? <laughs> trying to get revenge. That's what you did to me at Monticello. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got me at Monticello. But look That's, at the guy. Look, look, look how golly. Look how he tried to eat. Just choked that old poacher. A weedless poacher. My goodness gracious. Tried to swallow it. Sure did. Tell you what, this lake right here has got a bright future ahead of it. Man, there is some super healthy young fish in this pond, dude. Hey, that's a goat looking monkey fish, isn't it? I don't even know where he is or what's going on right now. I really have no clue what's happening. <laughs> it just got heavy and I just kept reeling it. It just kept getting heavier. Cloak of darkness. Throwing. 
Oh, God. Oh, cheater bait. Ew. Been a little while since we had a bite, like 10 minutes or whatever it's been, or 15. So I picked up the cheater bait. Come we might as well go ahead and wrap it up. I think we've caught as many as we really probably need to catch in one day in February. Yeah, we're good for today. <laughs> we caught quite a few. Not a bad trip for you. First trip out in a couple months. So I'm glad we got to get on some numbers, man. You got to lean back a little bit, as they say. A couple swim bait bites. But here's the deal, man. Warming trends, guys. Whenever you see those, uh, the, the real deal is the warm nights. When you see those warm nights, three, four days in a row, get out and get shallow because the fish will move up early in February, even sometimes in January when you get those kind of conditions. Uh, hopefully some of the stuff we did today kind of helps you. It really turns into spring fishing all of a sudden real quick fast. Yeah, and go from, you know, I'm, I'm sure six days ago the water temperature was probably high 40s yes so true absolutely true that's what it was pretty much everywhere i've been fishing around on fork and some other lakes and it's just that's what's been everywhere and yeah it all raised up into the lower 60s or 50 high 50 yeah, 59 60. to 61 yeah. yeah so awesome day dude we did not beat the six pound challenge that means we got to send three bait packages yeah. smash stick smash bug and the blade aid chatterbait trailer brand new one hand poured custom job but that's it for today we sure appreciate you watching heath man always thank you for coming out with me brother had a blast as always seems like every time we get together the fish behave if you know what i'm saying we have fun we've had some good days and this was no exception hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed doing it we'll see you guys next time right here on your lake fork guys